Hi guys, how we, how we doing? Um, Brad Dwyer here. Um, I'm just hitting you up with this video because we've come up with the idea of trying to do some some kind of podcast, uh, maybe even call it Dogcast. That's what we've come up with at, at the moment. So um, the reason why we're going to do that is obviously there's no content at the minute, no games, we've got self-isolation going on for certain people. Um, so when I first heard out about it a couple of weeks ago at training that we might be in self-isolation, we might have no games. My first thought was um, just about my mental health, really, and how that would affect me in that way. Not necessarily the coronavirus. I didn't have any fear or anxiety over that. It was just the, how am I going to cope in isolation without my normal routine, looking forward to a game at the weekend. Um, so the media team at Leeds heard me going on about this at training on top note, um, and they came up with the idea of trying to get some content out there and and speak about this. Um, so obviously, f first things first, I had to, to try and come up with some ideas of what I'm going to do if, if it does come to us where we're stuck in the house and, and we can't be around people, which it's looking like we, we are going to be. So obviously, I've got Bruce, uh, my little dog, and we're, we're going to probably fire off and, and get out in the countryside whenever we can, get loads of walks done and get as much exercise as I can done, really, keep myself in shape to when we do eventually hopefully come back playing. Um, I might take up something new, maybe start reading, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while but never really done it. So obviously we've got all this time in our hands and isolated, I might, might start trying to get some reading done. Um, I've been quite big on gratitude lately and, and that's been helping me in my everyday life and obviously the situation we're in now, it's very easy to, to look at ourselves and, and feel a bit scared and think, oh, everything's going against us. Um, but there's a lot of people doing it tougher than, than us, so be grateful for what we've got. Um, and obviously, something we can do on that is think of all the um, the services out there that they're providing on the front line, so all the nurses, uh, police officers who, who's, who's helping keep the country going, even though they've got risks for themselves and the families as well. It led us into coming up with this idea of, of the podcast and what we're doing. It's been on my mind for quite a while. A good mate, J Jamie Jones Buchanan, has been trying to get me out there and do some stuff with my personality for a while. So this was perfect timing for us. And I think we get loads of interviews of players, how they've played, how's training going. And it's normally the generic answers that they're coming up with because they don't want to say anything wrong. And no, they're just telling people what they think people want to hear. Um, so it'd be good if we could get some some players on from Leeds, from all over the place, really, if we can. Some backroom staff uh, and just basically get their personalities about, get their lives, uh, where their lives have been and what they've done as, as kids and teenagers that's probably made the personalities and, and made the career that they've got. Also, we'll try and get some inside information on what you guys probably wouldn't normally know that we get up to in our normal daily lives of being a rugby player. And uh, like I said, the, the main reason is to get some interaction with the fans, obviously with no rugby at the moment, and, and just have a laugh, maybe get some quick-fire questions and, and get some questions from you, the fans, themselves. Uh, so, yeah, first up on the on Dogcast, we're going to go with my good friend, Conrad. Um, obviously me and Connor has got great relationships so with me being new to it I think it'd be great to get Connie on he's got great personality and uh, I think we'll just look in towards there's so much about Conrad that not many people know about his, his family and, and his where he comes from in Tonga and, and how difficult it was for him to make a career in, in rugby league and um, obviously Tonga's a totally different place to, to England and, and the way they live and their lifestyle and I think you can see that in Conrad's personality how he, how he um he takes everything, he, lo he loves everything and is so generous in everything he's got. So I'm going to try and get some of that across in the uh, podcast when we get it up.